let us now study about tunnel pistons some authors pronounce this as fresnel but most authors pronounce this as fresnel where s is taken to be silent to define this you can say the distance of the screen from the slit recall that in case of diffraction we'll have a slit the screen so the distance of the screen from the slit that is this distance so that the spreading of light due to diffraction from center of screen is just equal to size of the slit called as Fresnel distance that is we know that in case of if you consider light like ray then what we get here is if you use parallel beam of light then only opposite to this should be bright and the region beyond this should be dark this is called as geometrical shadow we'll draw a better diagram for this suppose imagine we have a narrow opening like this and the screen somewhere here then if we look at a case where this point p and point q that is we're taking the edges of the slits to be point p and point q if we use ray optics then only the region opposite to this that is only the region between these two points let's call this as x y so only x and y should be bright and this and this should be geometrical shadow region but what is seen is because of diffraction light rays would not only be confined to xy rather the light rays would undergo diffraction and it undergoes diffraction gradually like this and light encroaches into geometrical shadow region that by definition is called as diffraction so here the brightness is not confined to x and y rather it is confined to x dash and y dash now here this is what would be the central maximum like this not to x and y suppose if we use only ray optics then the width what we get is x y and the actual width is x dash y dash so the error in case of ray optics is very very high suppose if we move the screen from here to some position here then the error of the width central maximum using ray optics or ray optics is been reduced if we bring the screen further towards the slit the more and more closer we bring the error between ray optics and ray optics is decreasing if we place the screen somewhere here or somewhere here in that case the width of central maximum obtained by ray optics as well as ray optics is almost similar in this case we can say ray optics could be used in, instead of ray optics also the reason why do you want to use ray optics is that ray optics is easy to understand and solve than doing ray optics because ray optics involves ray friends and adding them so ray optics becomes complicated to understand so in such cases we can use ray optics so we can say the distance between the slit and the screen we call as z suffix f this distance for which ray optics is valid is also called as tunnel distance we can define other way also than given from here what is given here is it says that it is the distance of the screen from the slit so that spreading of light due to diffraction from the center of screen is just equal to size of the slit other way you can think of it is as saying that it is the distance between the slit screen for which you can use ray optics instead of ray optics even that is called as tunnel distance let us find an expression for tunnel's distance suppose 
this point corresponds to the first minima and even this corresponds to the first minima so if you look at center of the slits and then the angle made here called as theta let the slit width be given as a so this is called as a we know that for diffraction or dark bands or for minimum the condition is a into sin theta is equal to n lambda here n is equal to 1 because we are confining to the first minimum and also if the angle theta is very very small then we can write sin theta as just theta only therefore what we get from here is we can say a into theta is equal to lambda or theta is equal to lambda by a this is an expression for lambda let's call this as 1 so from here the distance between this to this point we we'll call this as p dash to q dash distance between p dash to q dash would be the width of central maximum and let us call a point here some point o so distance between p dash to o we'll call as y so that width of central maximum becomes 2 times y now here in this case what you can do is from this triangle you can say theta is equal to it will be by by z for small angles you can say that for small angles theta that is tan theta same as theta so even though we have tan theta here tan theta from this would be y by zf but here we can write tan theta as theta itself therefore we get this form theta is equal to y by zf to compare 1 and 2 we can say y by zf is equal to lambda by a but when you're putting when you're putting zf here then y should be something else let us to understand this let us go back and look at the definition of friend distance you can say it is the distance of the screen from the slit so that spreading of light due to diffraction from center of screen that is the slit width is just equal to the slit width that is the spreading of light due to diffraction which would be the central maxima that is equal to the slit width putting it back here it would mean that if the distance is equal to zf or the distance tends to zf then y becomes equal to a that is by definition of and distance therefore a by zf is equal to lambda by a from here if we cross multiply and solve it then zf is equal to a square by so this is what is the form for final 